Okay, what's up you guys? Happy Friday. It is the last Friday of September and we have a kind of fun fall weekend planned so we thought we'd take you guys along. Craig and I just got off work that good Friday after five feeling. <laughs> and we are currently getting ready to go meet up with some friends at the Corn Maze. If you're local to North Georgia, you may have heard of the Kegel Family Farm, Kegel Dairy. It was a corn maze back when I was in like eighth grade. And then they closed for a while. They sold some land, they made it smaller, but now they've reopened and kind of redone everything. So some of our friends, Sarah and Steven from Italy and our friend Aaron and obviously me and Craig are gonna go check it out. Also have a few other fall, like fun fall things planned for this weekend. So make sure you keep watching for all of that good stuff. And let me show you my outfit really quick. So first of all, my hat is a little bit bent. I need to fix that, but I was just lazy about it today. But um, and it's my fault that it's bent. They didn't send it this way. But this is the Gigi Pip Zephyr hat. It's one of my favorite hats by them. You would not be able to tell that with the lack of care I've taken with it, but it is. And um, I do have a link with them. So if you want to buy a hat from them, make sure that you use my link so that you support your girl. My necklace is from Amazon. And let me take you to the big mirror to show my the full fit. Okay, lighting is not as good in here, but you can see the full thing. So this I wanted to show because it is a jumpsuit from Target. Can't remember if it's Universal Threads or what, but it was $30, I got it on sale, and then I actually took it to a tailor and got them to let the hem out a little bit. That was as much as they could let it out so that it at least touches my shoes. If you are a tall girl, then you know most stuff you buy it off the rack, it comes to about here. So I had them let it out and that only cost $16. And honestly, like some people have said, like I should just learn how to do that myself. It'd be way cheaper and I should, but I haven't. So Taylor it is. As far as outfits go, I feel like especially in the fall, I do tend to live somewhere between farmer and Laura Ingalls, but you know what? I own it. <laughs> it is what it is. So we're gonna finish getting ready here, probably grab something to eat, and then we will meet you guys at the corn maze. up you guys it is the next day we had a really fun time with our friends last night at the corn maze and it's actually late into the next day we have had a super lazy day which I'll tell you about in a second but um, I am about to go to Target have myself a little cozy Target fall girl moment maybe grab a Starbucks but more importantly I'm gonna get some ingredients for dinner tonight and just some stuff that we're out of so 
thought I'd take you guys along with me and maybe if I can get the camera positioned, we can have a little cozy car chat along the way. Okay, so the car chat didn't really work out because your girl cannot balance a camera and drive safely. <laughs> Probably for the best. But what I was gonna say is that, honestly, going to Target right now, it's Saturday, and having spent the rest of this morning kind of lazily, has been such a nice change. This past summer was probably the busiest summer of my entire life. I've never felt, like of my entire life, I've never felt more drained. I mean, from fun things, but like in, you know, fun traveling season and all that, but like I've just never felt more exhausted from my schedule than I have this summer. I think from like May to late August or September, we had something every single weekend, like every single weekend. And a lot of times, Friday, Saturday, Sunday of the weekend booked the entire summer. And so one of the things that I told Craig was that come fall, I was like, it's so easy to fill up my calendar from all the way through fall leading right into the holidays. Like it's so easy for every single weekend to get just filled. And I told Craig, I was like, I just want to leave weekends open intentionally. Like I want to block off weekends to not have anything planned so that when the weekend comes, we can decide what we want to do like that weekend, that day of. And so this morning we found like a new Nancy Drew show on HBO Max and, um, I love Nancy Drew. I used to play the games as a kid. I used to read the books. So I was like interested to see it was like a TV show and I love like little detective shows or whatever. So we've just been binge watching that all day and it's been nice. It's been nice like not having to be anywhere. It's also kind of been nice not forcing ourselves to have like a super productive Saturday morning. Like it's just been kind of cozy to just like sit at home with Peach and snuggle Peach and watch Nancy Drew. <laughs> but so now I'm at Target. Um, I have a few things on my grocery list that I'm about to get and I'm hopefully gonna make my mom's Mexican lasagna for dinner tonight which will be super tasty and I'm also gonna just check and see. I like always do a little pass by of the decor and the home goods section because you have to. You can't go to Target and not. I'm also gonna grab a Starbucks while I'm in here and Craig's gonna text me if he wants something but um, if I see any cute things in there, I will try to get a clip for you guys. Okay, I just got back from Target and I did find a couple cute things that I want to show you what I got. But first, let me show you my little basic Saturday fit. <laughs> My ball cap is DG Pip. My basic pumpkin tea, I think is from Pink Lily, but I got it off Poshmark. And I've got my black Lulu bag, and then some denim shorts from like a local boutique around here. She like takes clothes from the thrift store and like turns them into something new. So I think these used to actually be jeans. And that is why they are long enough for me, cause that doesn't normally happen. <laughs> and then I've got my Sam Edelman sneaks. Oh my gosh, I almost just gave myself a leg cramp doing that. But okay, let me show you guys what I got. Okay, so this was the first thing and I thought it was so cute. I'm a sucker for eyelet and fall colors. It's just like a little boxy cropped-ish shirt, but I love the eyelet detail and the collar. Thought this would be super cute with like, I don't know, some like 90s relaxed jeans from Abercrombie that I also just got. Might end up doing a try on for you guys, we'll see. I also got just this like basic gray sweat set. I love getting my pajamas from Target. I've gone through so many over the years. I wear them over and over and over. I wash them a thousand times. So I always just get new ones when I can because I just like wear them to death. And then I also got this really cute sweater dress that I'm hoping is long enough on me. We will see. But this is the size medium. I wish you guys could feel it. It is so soft. Like wouldn't that be super cute with just some like knee high boots? Not the like 2019 like black skin tight knee high boots not those are those 2019 are those like a 2018 vibe i can't remember but like cute knee high boots you get the vibes it also turned out that i had a freebie for starbucks so that was a little happy moment got a free venti chai with oat milk and no water if you want it uh creamier but i've got the water boiling for the pasta i'm gonna make i'll um show you guys the recipe it's my mom's mexican lasagna so good but the water takes forever to boil because it's like eight big lasagna noodles that you have to cook. 
but I think we're gonna make that and then maybe go for a walk afterwards if it's still daylight outside. So we've got dinner started. I normally like to cook with my caraway set that my mom and dad got me for Christmas, um, but like I said, these noodles require a huge pot. Mom always said to put this in there when you cook the noodles so they don't stick to the bottom, it's a whole thing. So got the water started on that and then these are basically all the ingredients you need plus just Mexican cheese. So you basically cook these noodles and then when they get close to done, you can start cooking the meat in your pan, mix it with some taco seasoning and eventually put the sauce in there too. Then you just layer your noodles in a casserole dish and you just layer it all together. Noodle, meat, cheese, noodle meat cheese. It's like two layers worth, you'll see. Craig got me this for Christmas, I think it was last year, and I've loved it because I use recipes from literally all over, and instead of having to look them up all the time from the various internet sources or whatever, I just print them out and put them in here. Got them alphabetized too. But um, this is my mom's Mexican lasagna. This should be like top secret. You guys should appreciate this. <laughs> Okay, good morning. Craig and I just got back from church this morning. We picked up some Subway on the way home, had a little bit of an early lunch, just watched some Frasier. So super nice, pretty morning. Last night after I went to Target and we made dinner, um, we ended up not going for a walk because it did get kind of dark out early, but, but we enjoyed dinner and a new season of Great British Bake Off is out now on Netflix, like one episode at a time right now. So that's like one of our top favorite shows. So I was super excited to see that that was out. We watched the first episode last night, but I've got some time to kill right now. Um, my little cousins are coming over later for a little fall night. We do this every year. We watch a movie and like bake something or whatever. But while I had some time, I thought it'd be fun if I kind of gave you guys a little fall haul. I've gotten some new pieces lately and I specifically kind of started investing in like tall clothing which like you'd think I'd have that figured out by now <laughs> but tall clothing tends to be more expensive and sometimes like I'm kind of on the shorter end of the tall girls right I'm 5'10 and so when there's brands that are made completely for tall women it's normally like 5'11 6 foot and above but then if you just buy stuff off the rack, a lot of times it's too short for me. So I live somewhere in between. Anyways, all that to say is I've bought some fall stuff that I think is gonna be more timeless and is also just gonna fit me well. Like I've bought some tall pieces. I thought I'd just give you guys a little like try on haul. Thought that'd be fun. And we can start with what I wore to church. I wore my Zephyr hat again from GG Pip. I just wore this jacket over my shoulders because it's not really cold out, but you know how sometimes in church like they have the AC going and it can get chilly. This is from Old Navy. I love this like texture, like I don't know if it's snakeskin texture or what, what have you, but it's from Amazon. I've used this crossbody a lot. And then my dress is from a local ball ground boutique. I really love like the sleeve detail here because that's another thing is a lot of times sleeves come up to like here on me. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, if you're not a tall girl, Maybe this is all news to you, but if you're tall, you're like, yep, had that problem my whole life. So I just get excited whenever I find pieces that work. If I can find the brand of this dress, I'll put it on screen or something. And then my shoes are just from Amazon. Okay, next up is this top that you guys saw me get yesterday at Target. I love the eyelet detail on it. And it's like a really pretty deep 
auburn color. I have a couple of jean options that I'm thinking about pairing it with, so I'll show you what I've got on now. So like this is option one if we want to go with like a classic blue denim, but there's a couple things I wanted to point out. So these are Abercrombie jeans. These are the high rise mom jeans. So like if you're having a little bit of difficulty letting go of your skinny jeans, <laughs> these are like a good transition jean. They're not skin tight. They have a little bit of looseness around, but they're not fully committing to like Gen Z wide leg or whatever. So these are like good transitions. However, every jean I show you from Abercrombie today is gonna be in a long size and you're gonna see how different lines within Abercrombie jeans, long means different things. This is the long size and you can see my ankles, right? I'll show you another pair of jeans that I would probably pair with this shirt. And it is cropped, but I just went ahead and tucked it in for the high mom jeans. And then I just got my white Sam Edelman sneaks. Let me show you the other option. Okay, this is a different pair of Abercrombie jeans. They're like a really dark brown color. I just got these, literally haven't taken the tags off yet, but they're called the high, or yeah, the high rise. 90s relaxed jeans these are also in a tall size and look how far they come like do y'all see my ankle me either so that's just something to be aware of i don't quite know if i'd wear this shirt with these jeans i kind of just like the coloring together i might have to like play around with it a little more definitely wouldn't wear them with my white sneaks i'd probably put on some booties or something if we're going like full autumnal with the color palette here but just to show you like the fit also, I'll put a picture on screen of something that I thought was so crazy in an Abercrombie order that I got. Basically, I've had these pair of like black jeans um, from Abercrombie for a while, like maybe over a year now. And I love them, but they're just like, I wish they were longer. And I have them in the long size, but they finally came out with an extra long. And so I was like, okay, I'll get the extra long. Maybe they'll cover my ankles. And I don't know if this pair that I received was just mislabeled or if that's just how wide ranging long is across their different jean lines. But when I tell you the extra longs were shorter on me than the longs, like look at this picture. Like I just, I was like, is this real? So anyways, it's all trial and error. You just gotta go with it, try stuff on, get free returns, and keep it moving. Okay, here's another top with those jeans. I just own this super skin tight um, turtleneck from Amazon. So it's kind of just like a cheap basic or whatever. Same crossbody. But um, one other thing I wanted to say about these type of jeans is I like the fit of these a lot. I like the 90s relaxed jeans better than like traditional straight jeans or white leg jeans. I've tried on straight jeans in the past and sometimes it just kind of feels like like cowboy vibes and they're not boot cut because I know that that's a thing but like the way that they wear on me I'm like I kind of look like a country girl and that's not the vibe we're going for right now. So if you're wanting to kind of go towards the wide leg or loose leg trend I think the 90s relaxed jeans from Abercrombie are a good good fit. One thing I do like about this outfit is it's just kind of all your fall basics and then you can style it and dress it up different ways. You could do a different crossbody. You can add a white puffer vest to this, a trench coat. You can wear it with sneakers or you can wear it with boots like I'm doing, but it's just kind of like a fall base color palette to start with that everyone can have in their closet and then you can kind of build your look from there. Now, one other thing that I did want to say about this look before I move on is the boots. Clearly, I love that dark brown snakeskin texture kind of vibe. I have looked for boots like this for two years, which sounds crazy, but I have. And the reason I had such a hard time finding any was because either A, they were way out of my price range, like so, so, so expensive, more than I could justify spending. But that's honestly kind of the more secondary reason. The main reason I hadn't bought any till now is because so many boots have a heel height of three inches or above. And I don't mean to keep bringing everything back to like tall girl problems, but the struggle's kind of real. That's why I was saying earlier, I've been trying to like actually invest in pieces and I say invest, it's not like any of this stuff is crazy expensive, but just to take the time and effort to look for pieces that fit a tall girl. So even with shoes, even though yeah, like you buy your shoe size, I'm constantly looking for lower heel heights. And a lot of times when you do that, you kind of isolate yourself. You're looking at like kitten heel stuff with like a round toe. And it's like, no, I want a pointed toe or a square toe. I want all the stuff that the regular boots have I just want 
a heel height that's under three inches. <laughs> so these boots came from ASOS and I think they're like two and a half inches or something. And I was like, done get them put them in the cart ship to me now now this next outfit i'm super excited about because it's basic i feel like everybody has pieces like this in their closet but the special star of this outfit is the mary jane shoes from sam edelman so i've seen ballet shoes or mary janes whatever you want to call them are um making a comeback i've seen a lot of girls wear them and I thought these were so cute. They're like that crushed velvet kind of color. It's like a dark copper. I thought it would be so cute for fall. And I gotta tell you guys, cause I got them in the mail from Amazon, um, even though they're Sam Edelman's, but I, today's my first day trying them on. Super comfortable, like way comfortable. Okay, now this next outfit I have struggled with because I don't know if it's giving too much like Britney Spears vibe, but I bought this shirt um, a month ago and have never worn it out. The tag is still on it because I can't like find the perfect fit for it, but I've always wanted to have like an oversized white blouse staple in my closet. This one's from J. Crew Factory. Um, so I know that this looks very schoolgirl, but it's an option. I'm gonna try it on with jeans real quick. Okay, so this is it with jeans. Um, I tried to do the whole like half tucked thing, which again, I've always seen it on other people and I'm like, I love that. And I tried to do it myself and I'm like, is it, am I just having imposter syndrome? Like what is going on? But I do love jeans paired with these Mary Janes that I've been seeing go around. I think that's super cute. I think honestly, this fit is like the closest I have gotten to feeling good about this shirt and outfit. So who knows, you guys might see this on the gram later. Follow Sweeter Grounds. <laughs> but even if you don't wear them with the Mary Janes, you could also wear them with these. This is a different pair of Sam Edelman slides that I thought were cute. They're just like a linen texture. If you can't tell, I really like Sam Edelman shoes, especially because you can get them from Amazon. So it's just easy return. But I really like the designs and styles of shoes that that brand puts out. Oh, one other thing too that I was gonna say about shoes earlier when we were talking about heel heights and stuff was actually on my wedding day. I know a lot of girls go all out for shoes, like the shoes are a big deal. And if I was doing it again, I would probably put more effort into the shoes that I bought for my wedding dress. But my main criteria was heel height. I didn't want to be taller than Craig on our wedding day. That's another reason I go for under three inch heel heights because that means I'll still be shorter than him. Just because that's what I like. It doesn't matter obviously if you're taller than your husband, but personal preference. The other part of it is just comfort walking. Like anything above three inch heels, I start looking like I'm on stilts because I'm not comfortable walking in those heels. So anyways, yeah, that was like a criteria I used for how I found my wedding shoes. <laughs> Okay, I'm really, really excited about this one. This is a sweater dress that I just got from Target yesterday, and it's long enough, and it's so buttery, soft, and cozy, and this never happens to me. I'm literally never able to buy dresses like this off the rack, so I'm so freaking excited. So again, this is a super great basic to have. You could dress this up for fall. You could dress it up around Christmas time. You can wear it so many different ways. You could belt it. A lot of times I don't belt stuff because it makes it shorter on me, but if you can get away with that, you could totally belt it to kind of give you more of a waist. I also just tend to like the oversized slouchy look. I also just paired it with those new booties I got, but you could definitely pair this with like knee highs or like a wide leg boot or something. I think that would be really cute. You could go with any kind of color palette with this, cross body, jewelry, accessorize it, style it how you want. So. I'm definitely keeping this. Now, this last outfit is definitely more of a lounge outfit for me, but I just wanted to show it because I got two pieces in this outfit that I was so happy with. The first are these black ribbed pants. So I got these from ASOS, but the brand is Topshop and they are tall. I'm a size eight. I've actually gone through a couple purchases like this and had to return them because they either weren't long enough or um, they were kind of see-through. These are not see-through, they fit me great, they're tall, they're ribbed, they're everything I wanted. So I was happy to have lounge pants that actually fit me. And then the Uggs. Your girl caved and got some Ugg slippers. I think on their website, if you sign up for emails, you can get free expedited shipping. So definitely look into that. And I have seen a lot of girls styling their Uggs with like jeans and wearing them as like a part of a real outfit. So I definitely wanna play around with that. But for now, these are just super cozy to wear around the house and I'm really happy with them. Okay, so I think my little cousins are on their way over. I ran to our local coffee house and got myself a little pumpkin latte. 
and I also got one of my cousins a little one because it's her birthday this weekend. I think for the most part I'm gonna end this vlog here. I'll try to get some clips of like what we make and stuff. We normally just watch like a scary, well I was gonna say a scary movie. My little cousins love horror movies and it, that is not for me, but they always try to get me to watch one. I'm like, can we watch You've Got Mail? Like Charlie Brown and the Pumpkin Patch or something. We'll see what movie we watch. Something fall-ish. Gonna make some little um, Halloween treats or fall treats or whatever. And then I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, all the things if you did. And we'll see you guys in the next video.